Assalamu alaikum to everybody. Welcome to a new week of a vlog. I'm in the kitchen. It's been a while since we've been in the kitchen. Actually, I've been in the kitchen, obviously. It's just bloody camera wants to break again. Not today, bro. Not today. Maybe it's a sign that I should quit YouTube. I've been sick and tired of having chai and biscuits every day. So finally, I've made an effort and I said, we're going to make mahamri and badia. Gosh, it's been forever. I need unka. 2023 just started the other day. How are we already in September? Allah, Kiyama is coming. It's just time is going by too. <laughs> I talk too much. Very unga everywhere. Uh uh. <laughs> Yo, you guys, it's all over the floor. What a mess. Remember when I first came here and I had a whole issue with this? electric cooker thing. I've actually now become so used to it. I've learned how to maneuver it. We've got the right utensils for it and I actually really like it now. Please do not judge my Mahamri Sarah. Um, they have that little like I'm gonna show you this side, the smooth side. We're gonna ignore that side. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you this side. I'm Smidla. Oh my god, where's my chili? I forgot my chili. I am so hungry. Did you? Oh, look at that. Nothing on this planet hits and slaps better than Kenyan food. Chocolate cha Mombasa. I recently started watching the originals again in the Vampire Diaries, the originals. I've watched Vampire Diaries, I think three or four times. I'm Team Damon, what team are you guys on? So I restarted watching the originals and I'm on season one, episode six, since yesterday. I've been binge watching it. It's a public holiday today, so I'm just like doing nothing. Oh guys, I just had the most refreshing shower ever. I just feel so clean now. My skin is just not doing well, you guys. Oh, look at all the pimples like they're, they're just popping out a bit too much and it's messing with my confidence right now I, I just need them to go away i don't know what it is i don't know if it's something i'm eating i don't think if it's something i'm eating because i've been eating the same things forever and mashallah alhamdulillah i've had like good skin i don't know if it's a product i am suspecting that it could be sunscreen heard a lot of people complain that sunscreen breaks them out and i've been using a lot of sunscreen this whole summer because of my laser hair removal journey so i'm thinking is it the laser is it the sunscreen i don't know I'm going for my fourth or third, I think, third or fourth? I think fourth, my fourth laser hair removal appointment today. Okay, fragrance of the day. What, I think I'm gonna go for this one. This is the Jo Malone Scarlet Poppy. Just a few sprays because we don't wanna overdo it. I just got to the clinic for my laser hair removal. This is the lounge. I'm actually quite early today. order arrived. I ordered a new coat. I also ordered something else. Okay, bismillah, let's see how this fits. Okay. I really don't know how I feel about it. You know what? I never know what I feel about things. And then Dariq will be watching a vlog, a really old vlog on the TV. And I'll be like, wow, that looks so good in me. Why didn't I get it? It's full length, well nearly full length, but I really like the colour, I just don't know, don't know, should I keep it or not keep it? Will it soften up if I wash it? The colour is really nice, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know, should I keep it? <laughs> Comment please. I did ask you guys on Instagram about recommendations for dandruff, scalpy skin, dandruff skin and all of that and you guys gave me so many recommendations and one of them was the Neutrogena tea gel therapeutic shampoo and I also ordered it just from ASOS. I found it on ASOS so I was like since I'm ordering the coat I'll order this as well. This is the shampoo, dry itchy scalp, dandruffs and all of that. A lot of you guys also recommended this other brand called Nizarol shampoo. I've also ordered that one on Amazon. I'm gonna use this one first till I finish it because it's a very small bottle. If it doesn't work, I'll just use the other one. Tips, you guys gave such amazing tips as well. For example, this other girl wrote that when you wash your hair, don't wear your hijab on wet hair because your hair doesn't dry properly and then it 
like build up all of the product inside so leave your hair to air dry or blow dry it or however you want to dry your hair before wearing a hijab let me give you guys an update on also how my laser hair journey is going i have seen quite a huge difference you guys in my hair growth i was one of those person who was so skeptical of if it actually works everybody was giving me different opinions and i can guarantee it's the best thing that has happened to me already so far with each session they increase the intensity of the laser so the legs and arms i do have to shave them anytime 24 hours before i go for my session and i did it this morning but i wish i showed you guys how it looked and i don't usually shave in between my sessions a lot of it is not even growing anymore when it's fully grown i have like patches of fully grown hair and completely no hair so it's going really well like honestly i completely recommend it you're just sick and tired of always shaving or waxing or you don't do either of them and you just want to get rid of your hair then laser hair removal is your solution the clinic that i go to is incredible like the facilities that they have is amazing a lot of the laser clinics available just provide one laser and it's usually not suitable for all skin types also that clinic have two types of lasers one is called alex which is for caucasian skin tones you know lighter skin tone girls and the other one is called nd yag so it's for more brown and darker skin tone they offer both of these at their clinics ultimately you don't only see a difference in your hair growth but also the hair that does grow back is usually so much thinner if you go to a clinic that doesn't have the correct laser type you can also experience like your hair growing even more so you can go to pulse light clinic and they have a whole treatment specifically for people who have done laser hair removal before and the hair has grown thicker and they have a treatment for that a special laser hair to treat those type of people who have gone through that specific situation yeah definitely recommend post light clinic definitely check them out i do have a discount code for you guys it's 450 go use my discount code i promise you you will not regret it i'll leave some links to their website down below i couldn't stop thinking about my pimples right and the cause of them and i think i think another thing that could be causing them is makeup brushes right but the thing is i've been really good really good with cleaning my brushes but one thing that i have been really bad at cleaning is my powder puffs ever since i got these powder puffs i have used them for the past two three months and have not washed them that to me is disgusting i have this it's called iso clean and you basically can wash your brushes and wash anything like makeup off it it disinfects your product stuff don't spill it, Fana. Um, I have tissue roll here. I'm gonna go with the nastiest ones, the Amazon ones, and these are the Trigwell Cosmetics ones, which are so much thicker. You can see the difference. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it. Just look how disgusting that is. Okay, spray it good, and then, <gasps> oh, disgusting oh my gosh so satisfying i love this so much i spray it again this needs like double spray yo all of that came out of my sponges if this doesn't cure my acne you can even see the build up you see how it's dried so i'm gonna spray and leave it on for like a few minutes start scrubbing now <gasps> oh disgusting show you the after how satisfying is that honestly guys don't become a content creator because look at the constant mess that you're always left with products on the couch boxes on the floor packages everywhere and i'm hungry at this point so i'm gonna deal with that later oh my gosh i need to tell you guys what i've been doing recently the girl here has been meal prepping if you see my plant here yeah? it keeps dying on me all the time and i keep bringing it back to life but this time i feel like i've killed it for good i've been meal prepping last week saturday i sat down and i did a menu for the whole week everything that i crave and would like to eat and everything so i did a different meal of the day for for the whole week and then on sunday i bulk cooked what i could do already here's the fun part for, for example i bought two kilos of meat and two kilos of chicken i cooked all the meat at one go and i divided the chicken into two half i marinated it and half i cooked it cabisa according to my menu I separated the meat and the chicken into Ziploc bags and that's what I have every single day. For example, the already grilled chicken, I can make it into different things. So one day I can have chicken with chapati, potato curry. Another day I can have the same chicken that I've cooked already and I can make it into a creamy chicken pasta. The same chicken, I can do it in a wrap. 
the same chicken I can just make chicken and chips it's just really been helping me eat better me stop ordering because I'm a qu the queen of ordering like I want no hassle I would rather order and Tarek is now on this whole healthy diet kind of thing so I've had to like adjust as well stop ordering and start cooking proper meals I already took out my meat. I'm gonna make rice in the rice cooker. I already have potato curry that I already made in bulk. I totally recommend bulk cooking. I also hate thinking about what to cook each day. Cooking every single day, it's just a hassle. It's a complete hassle and that's why I keep ordering all the time. Okay, rice is in the rice cooker. We're gonna clean up this equipment while the rice is cooking. We have 15 minutes. Hit two birds with one stone. Let's do this. This is a full meal that I had prepped way in advance. Like I just made the rice today, but I made my meat earlier, I made my chuzi earlier, I have even pili pili in the fridge, and my glass of water. Tarek and I made a pact. We made an agreement that I am going to stop drinking fizzy drinks for the whole week. I can only drink one fizzy drink a week. And so I said, you know what, every Friday I'll treat myself to a fizzy drink. And he's on like this whole healthy diet thing. So water it is trying to increase our water intake let me put the originals on I've had such a long day i've talked to you all a lot today Dude, be cool it's just a priest forget them i mean later you forget them later dr shesky my uncle needs to be sedated something strong sedation he looks like he should be in an icu yeah I see this other witch with his boundaries